Hello, I'm uh, Professor Rodrigo Lozano from the University of Yeble. I'm a professor of organizational sustainability, and I've been working with Education for Sustainable Development since 2004, 2006, and we've been working on different topics. Lately, what we've been um, trying to work on is um, with uh, how to embed sustainability into curricula and mainly focusing on sustainability competences and the use of pedagogical approaches to develop these competences. So one of the things that we've been uh, trying to do is how to embed sustainability into curricula. And there are, we have seen different approaches. We have seen, for example, the creation of a sustainability course, a compulsory sustainability course in some universities, but that doesn't usually work because it, you, know, just, you know students they come they learn for the course and then after the exam they completely forget about it and they don't do it anymore uh, another way has been to try to embed it into different courses for a program so what you do is you add different parts of sustainability in a course and then the other parts in another course and when you come when you put them together then you have a much more complete picture uh, but then you have to think that each program, each discipline is quite different. So when we talk about, for example, ophthalmology or theology, engineering, can you really do the same in each course? And that is not really precise. So you cannot just take one sustainability and cover everything with the same sustainability. So you have to do it a little bit more context specific. So the question of how to embed sustainability into curricula should really be transformed into how can a course, a program, engineering, management, and all of that contributes to sustainability. And I think the question for all of you, professors, teachers, staff, is how is it that the things that you are teaching are contributing to economic, environmental, social, and the time dimension of sustainability? And that is a big question that we've been dealing with for the last 14, 15 years. Is not so much from a top-down, of you embed sustainability in the curricula, but more on what is it that you teach that contributes to sustainability? And that is the question that we've been trying to address in different ways. So that, uh, that's quite a lot of the research that we've done on to, uh, sustainability in higher education, on how to, to do this, and particularly in the last um, uh, four or five years. We've been really dealing on how to develop these uh, sustainability competences, and we've synthesized 12 of them. Uh, for example, critical thinking, strategic thinking, uh, collaboration, and um, you can always contact me if you want, and I can send you some of the papers and links to the things that we have done, so that you can see these 12 uh, sustainability competences that were synthesized from competences that are developed by some colleagues, for example, um, Vick, Rickman, Lambrex, uh, Kullemans. Uh, so we synthesized these 12. And then what we did uh, some years ago, so 2017, we proposed a framework trying to link these 12 sustainability competences to 12 pedagogical approaches, including, for example, project-based learning, case studies, lecturing, and, and some other uh, nine other types of pedagogical approaches more. Uh, so we did first a theoretical approach, and then we proposed which ones of the pedagogical approaches would be most suitable for developing the competences and which competences they would be developing. Then after that, we did a European study. So we sent a survey to, um, I think, more than 500 uh, colleagues, well, 500 uh, responses that we got. And we modified our framework to realize, okay, which ones are the ones that are really working. And we came to the great surprise that lecturing, traditional lecturing, is not really developing the sustainability competences. Lecturing is great to give context, content, but it's not really great at developing sustainability competences. And that was confirmed by an um, international study with 15 universities, the University of Helsinki being one of them. And I have to, have to do the promotional. So we published it in this book. And here uh, we confirm that lecturing uh, in an international level, although it's great for some things, but sustainability competences is not really doing the job that it should be doing. So in that sense, we have to either consider modifying lecturing or not taking lecturing as one of the 
key pedagogical approaches to develop the competences. We can do, we can think of some other pedagogical approaches that are much more suitable for developing sustainability competences, such as, for example, uh, case studies, project-based learning, um, community engagement, and things like that. Well, after all this, I would really like to encourage you to first think of how is it that what you teach is contributing to sustainability. And by sustainability, we talk about economic, environmental, social, and the time dimensions. So you might be contributing more to the social part, or more to the environmental part, or more to the economic part, but also think about the implications that you want your students to know. And I really encourage you to think that we want to um, educate our students to the best of their abilities on their chosen career, but also that they think on the future, the present and future um, academic, academic and professional career, what are the implications of their actions to sustainability? So it's not only about, okay, you know, I'm sustainable because I drive a Tesla or um, another electric car, but what does that mean? What is the economic implication? What are the environmental implications, the social implications of today, tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next years?